the genius of Donna is every day. So are we actually going to talk business, or am I just going to bill you for the pleasure of my company? How do you like me now? God, could this day get any better? Any better? What was so good about it before? Huh? What happened? Something. Nothing. No. Can't I just be glad you're back? You look like you have 80 teeth. What kind of suit is that? Brioni. Why? Oh, shit. Welcome back, Donna. Thank you, but there's something I need to tell you. No need to apologize. Uh, that's not what it is. You're not getting a raise. Daniel just made Louis senior partner. How do you know? Four years ago, Norma told me that Louis had a suit picked out for the day he made senior partner. He is wearing it. Son of a bitch. Hardman bought another boat. What are you going to do about it? Get it back. Donna? Yes? How'd the suit look? <sighs> Dated. Thank you. Mr. Forrest, so many lives were ruined that night. Your daughters, her boyfriends, yours. Is there a question? Someone had to pay for that, didn't they? Yeah, they sure as hell did. Is that why you paid for Maria Gomez to go to rehab? To keep her from testifying at Mr. Bailey's trial? What? Objection, Your Honor. She's putting the victim on trial. My client is the victim here. Ms. Pearson, you better back this up fast. Then ask the witness to answer my question. I never even heard of that woman until yesterday. Your Honor, the defense would like to admit into evidence the admissions form for an Allison Dobson into the Pathways Rehabilitation Center from 12 years ago. Wh who is that? She was Maria Gomez's roommate, and I'm going to put her on the stand. No, that can't be. No, you, you can't do that. And she's going to say that Maria told her that she felt terrible about abandoning her friend. Objection, hearsay. No, she won't. Overruled. And she's going to testify that you paid for Maria to be there. I had nothing to do with anything. That's not what she's going to say. I don't care. She's lying. Why would she lie? She just wants to put the record straight. The record is straight. Not according to her roommate. She's lying. Objection, badgering. How could you know? Because Maria Gomez didn't have a roommate. What did you just say? Yes, I paid for her because she's a junkie who'd say anything to get him out of what he did. So I got her out of the way because he did it. Mr. Forrest. He did it! Your Honor, the defense asks that Mr. Bailey be exonerated and his sentence be commuted immediately. Mr. Marsden? We have no objections, Your Honor. Then the jury may be excused. And Mr. Bailey, you're free. I can't believe it. We did it. I can't thank you enough. You don't have to thank me, Leonard. You just have to walk out that door. Hi, Donna. Harvey and I were just uh, talking about you. No. You don't even know what I was going to say. Yes, I do. And how is that possible? I read lips. I know body language, and I talk to Norma. I'm not some token you win at a fair, Lewis. You know, I know you're not. You're not a token. I'm a human being, and yes, I just... Yes, you are. I'm sorry. It just... You know what? That just made me feel really... cheap. Now, I'm just trying I... to tell you that you're really good at what you do, Donna. So I'm, I'm going to ask you... It's like my soul hurts now. No. Donna, listen. Even if your soul hurts a little bit... I'm sorry. It's OK. <laughs> it's going to be fine. Don't cry. Please don't cry, Donna. <laughs> oh, shit. I think I owe you one for that. That was fun. Wait a second. The time that you cried and then I let your parents stay in my condo? Yep. Are you ready for round two? I am. In fact, I think I already won because one of the easiest things to do in a debate is to attack the debater. What is this? You went after me because of something that my fiance did. But the truth is, we all have skeletons in our closets. The difference between you and me is that I don't care to use them. What do you want? 
I think you know what I want. Shall we get started? I'd like to apologize for saying what I said to Rachel Zane. I only did what I did because she's my intellectual and ethical superior. I'm ashamed of myself and I forfeit this competition. How'd you get her to say that? Doesn't matter. What matters is everyone here knows that I'm not afraid of her. I take it that means you're staying in the class then? Nope. That is my official dropout request. I'm doing the Innocence Project. What do you think you're doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm having lunch with a client to discuss his investment business. You don't represent my investment business. Which is exactly why we need to have lunch. No, we don't need to have anything. Because the deal was Harvey gets me clear to criminal charges, then you get the rest of my business. I don't care what the deal was, William. I care what the deal is. Because now that that indictment's come down, Harvey is going to be spending all of his time on you. That's not my problem. I'm making it your problem. We get all of your business, but we handle none of it. Bullshit. You quit and you lose billables you can't afford to lose. We quit and it looks like we realized your case was a loser and wanted distance from it, which you can't afford. You really want to start a business relationship this way? I don't give a shit how it starts, William. I give a shit how it looks. Oh, that's why you did this here. You want it to look like you already represent my firm. Well. Look at that. Looks like I'm worth hiring after all. So are we actually going to talk business, or am I just going to bill you for the pleasure of my company? Donna, do me a favor and get Mr. Sherman on the phone, please. Thank you. What was that? Excuse me? Please, do me a favor and thank you, all in the same sentence? You think I'm not going to notice that? I don't have time for this. No, you got time. You're going to sit right there while I figure out what the hell's going on. Nothing's going on. Dimple in your tie is too far to the left. That says that your mind is on something else. Mr. Sherman's called 136 times. You've never called him back, which means you're feeling guilty and you're trying to compensate. I'm not trying to. I didn't to. say overcompensate. As long as we're clear. OK. I'll do it. Excuse me? You're pro bono. Bring me the file tomorrow morning. Jessica, I'm sorry. Can I just ask why? What does it matter? It matters to me. I've been out all day trying to drum up business, and it hasn't been easy. So from now on, when people Google our name, I'd rather they see innocent man freed by Pearson Specter than Manhattan law firm hires a fraud. Thank you. Good night, Rachel. Uh, I made a mistake. You were unfairly punished, and I would like to officially just welcome you back. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you kidding me? You think I'm going to make it that easy on you? I want to raise. 3%. 10%. 7%. Fine. And Pearson Hardman pays for law school when I decide to go. Agreed. And one more thing. And this should have been the first words out of your mouth when I walked in here. You need to apologize to me right now, or I'm going to file a lawsuit against you first thing in the morning. You're right. I should have apologized. But don't you threaten me. I follow procedure to the letter, and you have no basis for a lawsuit. No, I don't. Not about this. But if you don't think I have a basis for all the shit you've pulled over the years I've been here, think again. I'm sorry. OK? Lewis, you got everything you wanted, and you are done taking it out on him. Because no matter what you do, I'm not letting him quit. Then I'll just fire him. You can't. I can, and I will. Because Jessica would rather he be fired than you all go to jail. No one's going to jail. See? She knows what's what. I sign the agreement, he's done, and then I hire Katrina back as my associate. And that's not going to happen. What are you talking about? Louis, I'm afraid you've made your last dictate to me his name partner. I'm not going to let you take this away from me. 
I'm not taking anything away from you. You are still named partner right after you sign this. I added a little something extra after you finished drafting it. This says I'm co-conspirator hiring a fraud. You are. You became one the second you used him to get your name on the door. I know I'm not a real lawyer, but that sounds like he is to me. I am a real lawyer. He is. I'm signing it. Lewis, here's the thing. I told you not to tell anybody about this, and then you went and you shouted it to Robert Zane, and then you made me tell the partners. And the capper is, there are about 100 people waiting to greet you after the unveiling you arranged, which won't happen if you don't sign that. I can still go to the police. Yeah, you could, but you won't. Because you used that little secret to get where you are right now. It was the only bullet in your chamber, and I am taking your gun away. You set me up. You set yourself up, just like you did with Charles Forsman. And what I learned from him was once you get something that you want, you will do whatever it takes to keep it. So why don't you go ahead and sign so that we can get out to your goddamn party. My old office. I really wasn't kidding. My idea. It took a while to feng shui the evil out. Look, Donna, I understand. You piece of shit. Is that all you've got? Oh, I will go right now. Are you gonna sue me? Because I don't think anybody here is gonna testify. I never meant to hurt you. You mean when you planted that memo and got me fired? I did no such thing. And any implication otherwise from within this firm is actionable. Yeah, right. But you never meant to hurt me. I'd imagine whoever planted that memo thought that you would bring it forward. And if you had, the only thing that would have happened to you is you would have been scolded. And Harvey's career would have been over. So it really is like that between the two of you. You can go now. Jessica's deposition is in the other conference room. He betrayed me. Maybe, but Rachel, you didn't even give him a chance to explain himself. I didn't want to upset him. Even if he was bullshitting you back then, the Lewis I know is a man of his word. And if you went to him honestly... It wouldn't matter. He would just say he agreed to it, and Jessica would still say no. He might offer to pay. Absolutely not. I wouldn't let him, and you know what? That's not the problem. What is the problem? The problem is he made me a chump. Rachel. Donna, I went in there as a parent legal trying to negotiate with Lewis Litt, and I left with the money to become a lawyer, and for the first time in my life, I felt like I could actually be one. And now I realize that when I left that room, he was probably laughing about how he pulled one over on me. Maybe you're right, but I'm telling you the Lewis of today would never do that. Well, the Rachel of today certainly wouldn't let him get away with it. And the Donna of today is a genius. Well, the genius of Donna is every day. What are you saying? Just because you can't go after Lewis doesn't mean you can't still make your case. Well, this should be fun. <laughs> We've never been across the aisle from each other. Which is why you don't realize that it won't be fun. We'll see what we see. Case 41432, Van Dyke versus Pearson. Look at that, game time. Ladies first. Ladies first. Son of a bitch. For being polite? Were you being polite when you hired me? What does one have to do with the other? To the man who hired me for all you've done. Do you want to know what I meant when I wrote that card? The day you made me that offer, I asked you, did it have anything to do with gender or race? You swore it didn't. You lied to me. It didn't. You're lying now. Now, Daniel Hardman may have used people, but he didn't give a shit about their gender or their color. He showed you the list. Right next to my name, an asterisk. Not law review, not second in my class, diversity. You were treated the same. You tell yourself that, but we both know the truth, which is why I sleep at night just fine. Well, it doesn't change the facts in this case, does it? No. No, it doesn't, but this will. Charles, you remember Lewis Litt? 
Sorry, I couldn't run. Doctor wanted me to take it easy. Hey, Charles. Great to see you. You told me that story to stall. That was a stall. Mm. But this is for me. When I saw that asterisk next to my name, it made me sick to my stomach. Because in one second, I understood how you will always see me. So that card was a thank you. Because if I hadn't have felt sick, then I might not have worked as hard as I did to get where I am today. You woke the dragon, Charles. How do you like me now? See the man who won't stay, fear me.